goes out uh, 53 miles now. Bogies appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up uh, 150 for 33 offset. 50 miles. Hello, this is your air to ground weapons training. The two general types of bombs are the iron bombs or domed devices. They fall according to the laws of gravity and ballistics. And the guided bombs, they are smart devices and they can be steered to the target. The unguided bombs are used in good weather conditions when the target is visible you're going to visually drop bombs on the target the first one is the MK20D Rock Eye it's a general purpose and dispenses 247 dual purpose bomblets and is effective against armor the MK82 is a general purpose bomb. It's not a precision bomb and is used for troops, vehicles, runways, and small buildings. The MK84 is a bigger version of the MK82. It's a general purpose bomb. It's unguided and is used for runways bridges and large buildings. The BSU-49 is a general purpose bomb. It will deliver itself with an air parachute for a low altitude delivery and is used for troops, vehicles, runways and small buildings. The BSU-50 is also a general purpose bomb and it has a ballistic parachute on for low altitude delivery and is used for runways, bridges and large buildings. The CVU-52B CVU-58B CVU-71B CVU 87B, CVU 94B, and the CVU 97 SFW are general purpose bombs and they dispense BLU bomblets. They have different purposes against different kinds of targets. So you will choose which one is better for the targets that you're about to encounter. Now we're not going to talk too much about unguided weapons because we cover them on the air to ground radar. But what you do need to know is how to work your uh, right MFD. Okay so let me freeze this so you can see it better. There it is. And bring up you are MFD page of system and here we are the first one is your mode mode that you are on currently or to ground or gun then you will spray the gun right there but right now that's where you are the second one will be your sub modes CCIP and you will see they'll come right there you can switch them and now it will be the CCRP displayed on the right MFD the fourth one is the inventory INV this will show you what you are carrying and all the weapons that you have on board you have 12 MK82s and you have one right there Sam Wonder 9M the other wing and one 120 C4 AMRAM missile on each wing to go back 
to the other menu you just click again on inventory and it will bring you back to the page that you were before now the control page this will let you change any type of angle or release burst or altitude on the weapon that you have currently selected so if you go here on the OSB number 10 you will see release angle right now is zero you will click and it will bring you to this screen with all the numbers basically you just click on the number based on the angle that you want to do like for lofting or just aiming right now is 35 degrees you go up and hit enter and now your release angle is displayed right in the middle your control page to change the profile of your weapon it has four different buttons the OSB 20 it will let you switch your AD1 or AD2 arm and delay 1 or arm and delay 2 and basically it works the same you just type the number that you want it to be and hit enter if that's the one you want if you don't want to just hit return and it will bring you back to the previous screen then OSB 19 is arm and delay and burst altitude when you're using your CVU weapons it works the same way you just push on the numbers hit enter or just return to the previous page and the other two are for different weapons the same thing is arm and delay AD and burst altitude for rock eye weapons now let's go back and out of this page by hitting control again and let's keep going down your always B6 is your weapon the weapon you have currently selected we are on our air to ground and this mission only has the MK82 and you have 12 of them. if you keep going down you see your OSB 7 the proof button or profile right now is profile number one profile number two is either you see here CCRP or CCIP then we keep going down this is the amount of weapons you want to drop on one burst right now you're dropping all of them 12 and you can also select single or pair but because we have selected all of them it's uh, 12 and this is the amount of numbers that you will release if you keep going down this is your distance between bombs so right now I had it on uh, 99 feet and it works the same you just based on what you want to hit if you want to hit a runway you want to do about a hundred and seventy five let's just go back here and change it about a hundred feet I will do a hundred and fifty to separate the bombs and cover a large amount of the runway with your burst and the ripple number always B10 this tells you uh, the amount of bombs you want to release so if you just want to do two at a time you will do two enter and now you can go back to this uh, release button and select if you want two single bombs or two pairs so this will be four bombs released and this will be two bombs to be released.